Hi guys, happy 2021, happy brand new year. Hopefully it's gonna be a better one. I've got Wrigley down here patiently waiting. Uh, she never likes it when I talk to just the camera and she's not involved. But I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing today. I've got a new video for you. It's not necessarily new content, but I have gotten a lot of requests recently for a video showing just a typical training session with Wrigley from like prep stuff that I'm gonna show you guys here in a second to what I'm working on with her, how many things I work on with her in a typical training session, and kind of just how that looks with mistakes that she makes, how I deal with that, and just taking you guys through the whole process. So I'm gonna take you guys over to my counter and show you kind of what we have going on, and Wrigley is gonna to have to just chill for another second or two. All right, let me flip you guys around. Okay, so I want to show you guys kind of, the, I normally don't lay things out like this, but just for the purposes of showing you kind of our options here. So things you'll need for your training session. Clicker. I always use a clicker. Well, I don't always use a clicker. It depends on what I'm working on, but for what I'm working on today, I will need a clicker. So I've got that out ready to go. Treat bag, I recommend this doggone good brand. That's my favorite treat bag. It's got a bunch of different compartments. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this before. Um, I keep my clicker in that front pouch. Treats go in this part and there's side pockets as well. Um, you can keep a whole roll of poop bags in one of the side pockets, but um, treat choices. So for this training session, for the things that I'm gonna be working on, these aren't brand new things that Wrigley's going to be learning today. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of the spread and how I'm going to choose what things to work with, essentially. So here I've got some apples and carrots. Um, these are, I just kind of wanted to show you guys, the carrots are not good for training sessions uh, because Wrigley chews on them and crunches on them for what seems like an eternity. You want something that's gonna be swallowed quickly and the apples, she likes apples, but she's still a little bit perplexed by them. So she chews them for another minute or two. So I'm not going to be using those for training today. Um, other options, this is a bunch of Happy Howie's cut up uh, treat rolls. It comes in a giant log that um, you cut up into small pieces. Uh, this is just some of her kibble. We've got some Zeewee Peak and some Zooks. These are kind of my four go-tos with training inside. I also use Zooks and Zeewee Peak and Happy Howie's for training outside as well. So those are kind of the options that we have for treats. For today's purposes, I'm going to go with the kibble. Um, there we go. <laughs> the kibble mixed with, I think, a little bit of the Happy Howie's treats. That's going to be my best combination for what we're doing today, the things that I am going to be talking about, Wrigley has some foundation with, some of the things she's still learning, uh, which is great. So I can hopefully show you guys, I don't wanna say show you guys her struggling, but kind of show you guys her struggling a little bit through these things. Of course, now I say that and she's probably gonna be perfect. Um, but so you guys can actually see me work her through that. But for that, we're gonna mix kibble and happy howies to work today. That even just the happy howies is kind of a higher value type treat for indoor training with her. So she'll be excited about that. Um, the last thing that I have up here is a toy. You guys are gonna want to put aside some sort of toy if your dog is toy motivated. Um, I do a, sesh, a play session with Wrigley at the end of every single one of our training sessions. It's kind of just our ritual. You guys will see that later in this video, but having a toy handy at the start of your training session so you can just grab it and go is going to help out a lot. So I recommend prep ahead of time, know what you're going to work on, know what things, what treats you're going to be using for that training session, have your toy ready to go for after the training session, have your clicker and your treat bag ready, all of the things that you're going to need to set yourself and your dog up for success. Okay, so we have patiently waiting Wrigley. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you guys uh, and set you up and show you guys kind of our training session for the day. And we'll just see how this goes. I apologize in advance for the weird sun. 
but I need light, so we're gonna work with it. Okay, Meeks, what are we gonna do? Just to give you guys some context, I'm working on different position changes myself with this go to place behavior. It's something that Wrigley already knows, but I haven't worked on in a really long time. So cueing her from different positions that I'm in so she doesn't just station in front of me and it's actually generalized to no, it doesn't matter what position I am in, I still want you to target the bed. Go to place. All done. Here. Find it. Go to place. All done. Go to place. If I'm working on several different activities in the same training session, I like to use my ready find it, ready catch it, and nose touch cues as a good transition into whatever we're working on next. So this kind of gives Wrigley a bit of a mental break. These games for her are extremely easy and she has a really good time with each one of them. So it gives a bit of a light uh, kind of transition between activities. Find it. Find it. 
This one's probably pretty obvious, but I'm working on backing up. Um, another behavior that Wrigley has learned in the past before, but I have not worked on in a really long time with her. And previously, this was something that she did really slowly. It was this very, very slow behavior that she offered. So I am experimenting with different um, like treat delivery systems and tossing the treats behind her and just messing with the different uh, things myself to try to see what is going to work a little bit better with her. Okay, this one I am teaching Wrigley to lift her right and her left paws on just a verbal cue and not a hand signal. So the way that I'm presenting these cues, the word is new to her, so I'm presenting that cue to her first and then my hand signal. She knows to target my hand with her paw if I lift it up. So just how we introduce cues, new cue goes first, followed by the old cue, and I'm actually not letting her touch her paw to my hand, so it turns more into kind of a wave behavior. Right? 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 
right? Good job, it's a nice job. It's really good. Right? Good girl. Right? Right? Ready? We'll find it. Ready? Find it. Ready? Catch it. Ready? We'll find it. Ready? Find it. Ready? Find it. Nice job. You ready? Find it. Good girl. It's good. Okay, I wanted to film some sort of outro to that. I realized that I didn't do that. <clears throat> um, so we just finished Wrigley's. Wrigley hasn't moved. <laughs> She's tired. We did a tiny play session. I actually decided to end that session a little bit earlier than I normally would have. Given the things that we worked on, I could tell that Wrigley was getting tired. That last one with her offering her paw, like you guys saw, that looked crazy <laughs> with her offering her paw. Um, that is one that she does have a good amount of foundation with and offers it usually a lot better than she did today. So I could tell that she was tired. So I decided to end the training session on a good note where she was still willing to offer her paw on cue. And that was our stopping point. Um, right at the end, I used the words, that's all means there's no more food. I literally went, oh, well, I kind of picked it up now, but I went and I set my treat bag on the counter put the treats up and away and then i came back to where i do like a giant treat scatter at the end um when we're playing the little catch it games little ready find it games i'll say ready find it do like a couple treat scatter on the ground go put my treat bag up and away come back i'll say that's all and then immediately grab the toy and we'll start playing with the toy so I'm like out of breath <laughs> right now. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I do little transitions in between things that I'll probably talk about during the video um, to really separate out the segments for her a little bit easier. With your dog at home, if your dog is newer to training, I'd work on maybe one or two things max per training session. She's like literally falling asleep right now. <laughs> we haven't even been on our uh, first walk for the day and she's tired. So just take note of that for your dogs at home. If you need to not do as much as I did in that training session, then that's totally fine. You do you. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that was helpful for you guys and um, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Happy 2021. I'm really excited that all of you guys are here and We've got a new year, new year of videos, fresh start. It's going to be a good one. Fingers crossed. So let me know if you guys have questions in the comment section down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good time training your dogs at home. I'll talk to you soon. Happy training.